Hello, good morning guys. Another beautiful day. Yesterday where well, we didn't do nothing because by the time we arrived it was already late and later it was raining. So we just stay here in the camp, our campsite. Uh, we had a dinner, we had some kind of fun with the music, singing a song and dancing. So that was what we did last night. And so here today uh, we are planning to go to, there's a place called West Cough. It's, it's kind of like a small beach like lake beach uh, there we'll do some water activities let's see how things goes there i didn't uh, bring my uh, fishing rod this time because i had to renew my license and i didn't have time to go to uh, office and renew my license so and so i did do i'm not gonna do fishing here anyways but uh, we're gonna do some kind of maybe probably we do boating swimming and some other some other uh, water activities down there so we'll have this one that one first and from there we'll decide what we're gonna do okay so we'll see on the other side there oh my god we arrived guys here is the lake which is called waste gold this one is for filipino so i can park here right yes people filipino yeah pinoy pinoy yeah pinoy no yes yeah yeah, that's a dog. That's yeah. your friend. Okay. Ready to go for me? Okay, you lovely fellas. Here we are. There we are. We're friends. Hi. And here we have West Cove. West Cove. Is this your first time in West Cove? Yes. How did you find it? It's very much nice. Very here. much nice. And here is our, the most important guy we have here. It's uh, it's very close. Very its cl turn is five minutes. Five minutes and it yeah. takes twenty minutes to come. Yeah. Right? That's what yes. this is. <laughs> okay, so guys. This is Wesco. And here we have two little puppies. Not a puppy, dead dog. It's good, good, good. And this is Mr. Ode. Hi, how are you? My name is Ode. And where are you from? Welcome to my, to, welcome to this blog. <laughs> I'm from the beautiful island of Tonga. Beautiful <laughs> Tonga. Does this island exist or not? No, that's in the Pacific. It's in the Pacific. South, South Pacific. South Pacific. I thought you are from Philippines. No, no, no. no? I'm originally from South Pacific. I think you are from the uh, typhoon by Philippines. You landed there, right? Yes. Yeah. I was blown away. Blown away by the typhoon. So guys, see the water, looks so clean, clean, fresh, beautiful, okay, that's the lake, and there you have a small peninsula to launch your boats and kind of thing. So that is, that is. Oh. It's swiveling, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How do you find here? Enjoying? Yeah. Yeah, it's so cold though. So cold? Oh, yeah, the water's too cold. Oh, guys, oh, yeah. ah, it's cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, to do here in this area in this lake if you have you'll enjoy it if you have your own boat you can see the boat right there if the people are enjoying see like that you know if you have your own boat kayak then it'll be nice otherwise uh, nothing much to do right see they are enjoying their own boat kayak and all this one is moving swiveling 
Alex. Yeah, so there's nothing much to see. As you can see, these people are coming up with their own boat and they're enjoying it. Good morning, guys. Welcome back again. This is day three. Yesterday, what happened, you know, when we went to the lake there and the West Cove, few minutes later, you know, they started raining and that spoiled the whole day. We could do nothing, you know, and the rain continued raining until uh, the whole night. So we just come back and stay in our tent and we just, just played uh, some games with our friends under the gazebo. That's what we can do. That's the only thing, yeah. So it was your yeah, totally spoiled the day. And this is still the third day. And you see now, it is quite beautiful outside. It's, uh, uh, it's bright and sunny. So what I'm doing now, I uh, there's a graveyard old cars graveyards down there so i'm driving over there and i'll take some pictures let's go and have a look how the graveyard is all right so let's have fun It's all muddy and graveled, but nice smooth. There's nothing wrong with the road. Small breeze on the side. Okay, okay. Uh, I heard that there's a dead kid at the very end. Let's go. Nice greenery, right? Nice greenery all around, beautiful trees. So there is a camper, people camping. There you see the graveyard. What is going on? Do you see the graveyard? See, these are old cars. Old car there. There's a, yes, not only cars, look like a ghost town. Like a ghost town, you see. Oh, car. So, what I'm gonna do? Yeah, let's go by car first. Let's take a look. Let's see. So at the very end of the road, in the gate, I can see there is a dog sitting. It's a big dog, huge dog, sitting and staring at me. So I will not take a chance because usually dogs like this in this wild area, uh, they are aggressive. They may chase me, right? I have no idea because they may think I'm a trespasser, right? Obviously I'm a trespasser here, not trespasser anyways. This is an abundant area, so you never know, right? So you should never take a chance in this kind of environment. So what I will do, I'll reverse my car. I'll go at the, at the very beginning there and I'll drop, stop my car. And then I'll take some pictures with the, keep an eye with the dog. And here at the other side, on the right hand side, you can see there are some horses. So that means people do live here with the other side at the very front there. I can see good houses of the people. So we might live there, but horses are there. So, so what I will do, I'll just reverse my car turn around and I'll go at the very beginning where I entered and then I'll take some few few pictures from there as you can see guys this is a graveyard of old cars and heavy equipments people just discard their cars and uh, heavy equipment here which I really like is this old car here the classic car right over there this classic car it's cool so nice yeah it's beautiful and most of the things are that are the less cars than other heavy, heavy equipments, trailers kind of a thing. So it's like that. 
but yeah this is scary look like a ghost and abundant place right yeah i just took some pictures here that's it because one of my friends she told me that there's a graveyard here and she was very scared <laughs> guys let's go uh, I gotta go the breakfast might be ready we'll have a breakfast and my plan today is that you know we'll leave this place today I'm gonna go from here we'll leave this camp area and on the way to the St. Paul town there is a place where the first UFO was landed in the history of, of, of the world all right so we're gonna see that place all right it's very interesting so it's it's there in uh, 15 I think, I think half an hour drive away from here so it's in a St. Paul town. So we'll go around there and then we'll have fun, okay? Let's go. Welcome friends. Right now I'm here in the St. Paul town and this is the place where the first UFO was landed. Right at, uh, at my back, you can see uh, the building there. There is, it's kind of a museum where you can see all the photos and uh, different other cro crops of the UFO landed. So this is the very place of, of Alberta where you can see the UFO landing page of, of, of the world. There, one of my friends, they have just arrived. They were also with us while we're doing camping. So it's, it's cool, good, it's nice because it's always better to learn the history, right? History of Canada, history of the world. Learn something from the past so that you know we know. Uh, what kind of things happened in the past, right? So we're gonna go inside and we see uh, what are the other historical things, what are the historical uh, events uh, we can learn from this place, okay? Let's go. Yeah, written here. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did you lock the door, I think no, I haven't. <laughs> because you were using the no. <laughs> so we don't know whether there's an entrance fee or not. We are just walking. We'll check it up there if there's an entrance fee or not. That's a football ground. And there you can see the disc. You have a disc. St. Paul town, a people of kind of place. It's a time capsule right there. You can see a monument we can see. It's a monument right there. And here up here you can see all, all the flags. Okay, St. Paul. The Saint Paul Infinity 50 year, 50 year of celebration, and according to the history, uh, UFO was landed here on June 3rd, 1967. And that was the first ever UFO landed in the world. And that was here. So guys, you can see here, this small shop, kind of a souvenir. You can see the small houses, Canadian houses, right here. Beautiful. And there is an alien. See the alien. <laughs> so 
so guys anyway so this is uh all about today's trip our trip for this whole three days it was a nice it was a nice trip anyways uh, short and sweet uh, though the second day was spoiled by the rain uh, but we enjoyed we had fun and thank you very much for being with me and being with us and uh, enjoying our trip throughout these three days uh, i'll sign out here we've got to go home and we'll see you in the next trip next event next activities until then take care have a good day bye, -bye.